Francis Pancratius Kiko, Nepomuceno Pangilinan, Tagalog, Paul Lin, born August 24, 1963, is a Filipino lawyer and politician who serves as Senator of the Philippines since 2016, having previously served from 2001 to 2013. Pangilinan's political life began as a student activist in 1985, on the eve of the 1986 EDSA People Power Revolt. In the Senate, he served as Senate Majority Leader from 2004 to 2008. In May 2014, Pangilinan was appointed Presidential Assistant for Food Security and Agricultural Modernization by President Benigno Aquino III. Pangilinan ran for Senator again in 2016 under the Liberal Party of the Philippines, placing ninth out of 12 winning candidates. 1. He is now the new President of the Party. Early life Francis Pancratius Nepomuceno Pangilinan was born on August 24, 1963 in Manila to Donato Tongal Pangilinan Jr., an engineer and entrepreneur from Pampanga, and Emma Monasterial Nepomuceno, a public school teacher from Nueva Ecija and Marinduque. He has eight siblings. As a varsity athlete, he was an NCAA and UAAP track and field and volleyball gold and silver medalist in the 80s. He ran the 400-meter hurdles and the 4x400-meters relay in the LaSalle HS track and field team and played HS and college varsity volleyball for LaSalle and UP. As a student activist against the Marcos dictatorship, he ran and won as counselor of the UP University Student Council under the student party SAMASA Sandigan Para Samag Aral at Sambayanan or Pillar for Students and the People in 1985. He was later elected chairperson of the UP USC and became the first student representative at the UP Board of Regents. He entered mainstream politics in 1988 in the first free electoral exercise after the Marcos dictatorship. He was elected the youngest councillor of Quezon City. Since then, he has tried to live progressive ideals, principally, that committed leaders need equally engaged citizens for genuine and lasting change. In 1992, he lost in the congressional elections in Quezon City. Pangilinan first made his mark as a young lawyer giving free legal assistance on air and closely monitored case progress through the television program Hoy Gissing, over ABS-CBN where he was a co-anchor and segment host. He also anchored radio programs, including Vitas and Rello's Report with Addy. Kiko over DZMM, programs aimed at making the Philippines' legal court system more understandable to the masses by increasing their understanding of their rights and duties under the law. As a writer, had an opinion column in the Times Journal in the 80s and the Manila Times in the 90s. As an educator and academician, he taught constitutional, labor and civil law at the Ateneo de Manila University from 1993 to 2000. In 1997, he left the country for Boston, Massachusetts, along with his wife Sharon Cunetta and daughter, to pursue his Master of Public Administration at Harvard University's Kennedy School of Government where he graduated with a general average of A. After an 18-month hiatus from local broadcast media, he returned by conceptualizing and then hosting Barangay Dos, a service-oriented television program aired over ABS-CBN, dedicated to finding solutions to the everyday problems of the common Filipinos. The program established him as an intelligent, articulate, working, and involved lawyer and a media personality. He led his Senate volleyball team to win the championship in the Senate Olympics held last July 2008. Education He completed his elementary education at LaSalle Green Hills in 1977. He completed his secondary education still in LaSalle Green Hills in 1981. He finished his college education and graduated from University of the Philippines Diliman with a Bachelor of Arts in English, major in Comparative Literature. He was a member of Upsilon Sigma Phi while in attendance there. It was during his college years at UP Diliman when his sense of service deepened. A summer job working for his father in the hinterlands of Antique brought him face to face with the poverty and the absence of government presence and basic services in the rural areas. He served as chairman of the UP Diliman University Student Council in 1986 under the student political party SAMASA and was the first student regent of the UP Board of Regents in 1987. He was elected Philippine representative to the Committee on Youth Cooperation of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. In 1997, he finished his postgraduate studies at the Harvard University, John F. Kennedy School of Government with a degree of Master of Science in Public Administration with an area of concentration in strategic management. 
political career Quezon City Through the years, he supported and effected programs and laws that harnessed people power, always taking a holistic view of Philippine society's cancers. He believes in active citizenship that is why his involvement in civic affairs began even as a student in high school. He has over 20 years of civic and public service experience. He was the youngest elected city councilor of the Quezon City Council in 1988-1992. During his stint as QC councilor, he saw the need to unite and develop young legislators committed to strong principled leadership among young legislators. He thus founded and established the National Movement of Young Legislators NMYL, where he became founding president. The ten accomplished youth organizations TEO, established in 2003 to recognize young people's initiatives in public service and nation building, was his brainchild. He remained an active organizer of multi-sectoral groups fighting for the return of decency, competence, and accountability to national leadership. Senate Pangilinan was elected to the Senate in 2001 and was re-elected six years thereafter. In his first term at the Senate, he championed the plight of the most vulnerable children, and authored and shepherded the measure that would keep children in conflict with the law out of cells that detained mostly adult hardcore criminals. He recognized that the country's judicial system needs to be overhauled, and ensured that salaries and benefits of judges and prosecutors were increased so that the best and the brightest lawyers would be drawn to public service. He was first elected as Senate Majority Leader in 2004. On July 23, 2007, Jingoy Estrada was voted Senate President pro tempore, while Pangilinan was the majority leader following the assumption of Manuel Villar to the chamber's leadership of the 14th Congress. Formed in 2008, Pangilinan created the Judicial Executive Legislative Advisory and Consultative Council, first proposed on the July 16 to 17, 2007 Manila Hotel Summit on Extrajudicial Killings and Forced Disappearances in the Philippines, when he chaired the Senate Committee on agriculture in 2010, he was able to speak to farmers all over the country and was inspired to start his own small farm, from which he learned this insight, the success of the country lies in the success of the poorest in Philippine society, our farmers and fishers, our food producers. Aquino Cabinet in May 2014, Pangilinan was appointed as Presidential Assistant for Food Security and Agricultural Modernization, a cabinet-level position under the Office of the President of the Philippines, by President Benigno Aquino III. In September 2015, Pangilinan announced his resignation from the post. As OPAFSAM head, he pushed for the creation of the Coco Levy Trust Fund for Coconut Farmers, in an attempt to correct the injustice started by Marcos and his cronies who collected taxes from the farmers purportedly to develop the industry. In 2016, he pursued the same advocacy in his third term at the Senate. But after he and fellow opposition senators were removed from the Senate majority, and subsequently lost the chairpersonship of the Senate Committee on Agriculture and Food, he continued to defend the Coco Levy Trust Fund bill with new committee chairperson Senator Cynthia Villar agreeing to let him finish work he has started. In October 2016, he was appointed interim Liberal Party president. His appointment became permanent in August 2017. Once again, he puts his trust on Filipinos to help him transform LP into a party of the people, opening the party to mass membership. Personal life He married actress and television personality Sharon Cuneta on April 28, 1996. Together, they have two daughters and one adopted son. He is also the stepfather of actress and singer K.C. Concepcion, Cuneta's daughter whom he legally adopted. Pangilinan and Cuneta own Sweet Spring Country Farm, an all-organic farm located at Alfonso, Cavite. Two other Pangilinan siblings also have connections in local showbiz via marriage. His sister, Anjali Pangilinan, is a popular talent manager who is married to singer Gary Valenciano. Another sibling, Anthony, a TV host, is married to former beauty queen and actress, Maricel Laxa. References External links Kiko Pangilinan's website
Kiko's eye sight profile Kiko's Senate bio Verified Francis Pangilinan on Twitter